second night. Okay, then. I thought we'd get... Why is my door open? Maybe I didn't close it. That's entirely possible. Is it raining? Sounds like it's raining out there tonight. No food. Apparently we only eat once a week in this world. Oh, what's this? Get umbrella. Ah, yes. Um, did that come from downstairs? Oh. Open it. There's a letter. Ah, okay. Another video. We're just going to use our umbrella inside, apparently. You never know. We ready to watch closely again? Here we go. Uh -huh. huh. Okay. I think it's behind that police tape again. Oh boy. Sure, our door is closed. Okay. It's rather damp out tonight. <clears throat> Past the little hut to find the stairs. Okay. bridge. It's a good thing we kind of figured out our way around the, the village part here. It seems to get more and more difficult to see where you're going with each passing day. Asshole. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> there he is. Boo. <laughs> I got you good, huh? Yes. Yes, you did, you fucking cunt. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You better Can't not. You again? No, that... <laughs> <laughs> Always blame jail. No, that was the co-worker popping out of the locker at me when I walked in the back. <laughs> was that jail again? 
Yes, totally. What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes. That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Oh, great. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. Yeah. What harm could that ever do? Seven days. Anyway. Yes, let's punch in. Alright, get out of here, asshole. Where is he going? Okay, there he is. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Okay. Anything creepy on the CCTV? <clears throat> mm -hmm. no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did you see that? I saw something move just around the corner. Oh, boy. Okay, so that barrier is down, which means we can probably uh, take a little peek behind the, uh, the wires, but, uh, well, or behind the uh, barrier. We'll, uh, we'll do that shortly. We need to restock shelves first. Have to go, you know, do our job before we go ghost hunting. It's important. Where the hell are we supposed to put this? Where does it go? Here? No, that's not this one. It's something else. Maybe, uh... God, I wish I could run. No. Ah, here? No. No. Here? Ah, here. Yes. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so we need some shit for the freezer, and we need some shit for the other shelf as well. So let's do that. What's this one? What was that? Uh. What? What the hell? Um, I need to go tend to the customers. That's locked too. Oh shit, I'm locked in. Okay. Let me just dump this in here. Yes. Was there a customer? No, of course not. He was that little ghost kid again, wasn't he? He's fucking around. Whoa. Hello. I'll do what they do at the local convenience stores here. Anytime someone comes in, we go behind the counter immediately. Hi there. What's up? I'm Hamada. Hi, Hamada. So, there's something wrong with the air conditioning? I don't know, is there? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay, sounds good. You do your thing. Uh, this looks like he could probably use some more things. Is that it? Is that it for the restocking? Oh no, there's one more. Okay. That's what I thought. There's usually three things, whatever the things are that you have to do, right? It's just kind of typical for video games. No? Here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Good. What a lovely, well-stocked store. All right. 
Let's check the CCTV, see how things are doing uh, all around the store. The door is open. Oh, yeah, I opened it. Never mind. That's fine. Okay, good. Nothing outside. Okay, and there's dude staring at the air conditioner. Perfect. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Well, um, I think we restocked everything. See if dude could use some help. Ah! Jeez. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> I didn't expect him to walk right behind me. Okay. Oh, is that a ghost lady or is that a real person? Oh, no, that's a real person. Okay, cool. You get whatever you need and I'll, uh... Why are you just standing here? What's up? You okay? Alright. I'm not following you creepily around or anything. I just think you have very attractive polygons. What? There's nothing there. You're grabbing... Now, how come this NPC can carry, like, 800 things? What is... There's something over there. All right, we'll check that out later. And I had to bring that guy his beers one at a time. Like, seriously. Okay. Hi there. Hey. Are you the only one working here? I know. I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I know, right? I see you have no choice. Yep, well, gotta make a living. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Oh, thank you. Now be careful. Oh. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, let's, uh, let's head to the back here. There was something illuminated in the back. Ooh. A wrench. All right, so we won't take that just yet. Wait until we're actually supposed to take it. Are we able to look in here? Oh, we can. This is where the police line was. This is the back area. Let's see what's back here. Bicycle. And a shed. It's locked. Okay. There's a mysterious shed there and a bicycle. Maybe uh, maybe a kid got killed here or something. That's weird. It's it's an L one of those LED air conditioners. <laughs> All right. We should probably close the doors because that will keep ghosts out. What? What 
What's with the little splashes around it? Oh shit, not again. Um, what, what, what? Ow. Oh. What? You just hear footsteps? Thank you. Ray just brought me a refill. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Okay. There's definitely a sound coming. Over here. Typing on the keyboard. What the hell? Someone or something knocked all the donuts on the floor. Asshole. Perfectly good donuts. Alright, let's see. Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't just like a playful, friendly little ghost kid wanting to throw some donuts on the floor. What the actual shit was that? Ugh. Ah. Uh, oh, great. <sighs> what is all that? Is that like spirit papers? No, not yet. Talismans. Because it seems pretty clear to me that whatever the fuck happened, happened in that shed. <clears throat> Do we pick up all of them? Yes. Okay, so we got all the talismans that were on the floor. Left presumably by that, it looked like a woman ghost of some kind. So let's take those talismans and put them on the shed. Maybe with a flashlight on. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. Do that. So the talismans are supposed to ward off spirits. Perfect. Okay. Good. And there is a wrench there. We don't want to pick that up. The last time I played this, I picked up the wrench and it glitched. It wouldn't let me proceed any further. So I'm not going to get the wrench until we actually need it for something. Because, uh... Yeah. Okay. So now what? Well, 
dare we look at the CCTV again? Yeah, this one's still all wonky. going on here. Oops. <sighs> okay. So we did all the things that we needed to do as far as store tasks. Okay, well, I guess we'll pick up the wrench and see what happens. Open it. Yes. There's something glowing in there. Oh. Oh, it's a key. I wonder if the key opens the shed. Oh shit. Oh my god. There's a body in here. Some videotapes. Manager. Oh my god, it's the manager. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's closed. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully it can't get in because we exercised the door. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh my God. No, 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 no. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Third night. Just another normal night working at the convenience store. <laughs> okay. Well, we figured... Do I, I do, oh, shit. Of course. It's another video. Okay. Let's watch closely, shall we? Well, we already went in there, so. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, having the talismans on the door saved our ass there. Uh. 
Okay. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Sure. It was a dream. Just a scary dream. So what happened to the manager? Who killed him? What's the deal with that little boy? Who's the woman? I have so many questions. All right. Well, we're not going to find any answers staying at home. we got to get back to the store. So dark. Like, remember how it, you could actually kind of see like silhouettes and stuff on the 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 zeroth night, but now it's like so dark. You can barely even see like what's illuminated by the flashlight. It, it's so dark. Uh, crossing the bridge. You thinking back to what the dude said about there was a guy with like his legs bent backwards over his head and like oh my god dude I don't want to encounter that thing whatever it was okay <sighs> oh my god co-worker can you stop fucking with me seriously you have no idea what I've been going through on these night shifts Everything's open. Dude's nowhere to be seen. Dude? So if the manager's dead, who's been leaving the notes? What the hell? There's no punch card, no note from the manager this time, and there's no co-worker. Camera's back to normal. It got really quiet. Shed. Whoa, what the shit? What the hell? Did this just turn into Silent Hill? Outside. The 
doors didn't open when I walked up to them. Maybe we gotta go from the back. No. What is all this? Is this nails or something? Railroad spikes? I can't pick any of them up. Shelves are empty. Oh shit. Oh god, okay. What? Oh my god, it's just some kind of puzzle. You have to turn them on in a certain order. There's like a million TVs! It might be something simpler than that. It might be just one of them will have a picture on it. Is the sound an indicator of where I should be looking? I'm confused. Well, yeah, it's got to be this one. It has to be this one. This is the one he was looking at. Okay. Alright, and then where's the last one? that that's the right one. Let's we have to do we might have to do them in order. Okay, so we got the high one there, we got the low one there. <coughs> he's looking at the middle one. He might be looking at the middle one. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, let's see. Okay. And he goes over there. And he's looking at the high one right on the end. Okay. Alright. They're all good to go. The only one I can think of might be off is this one. It could be one of these middle ones. It's a little hard to see at that angle. Okay, but this one, he's definitely looking at the high one at the end, so... No. Let's... I wonder... No. Wait a minute. That one didn't make a sound. That's the TV. <sighs> okay. And that one. That one. Did we get it? I think we got it. They're all staying on. Huh? Oh shit, it's the kid. Hey. Hey, little guy. Oh, Jesus.
Um. What? No, go away. We're closed. I'm coming. I'm coming. What do you want? God, watch it. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, God. Um, that's right outside my apartment. That's me sleeping. Jesus. <sighs> Sorry if that was a little triggering for those of you with sleep paralysis issues. Oh, and that's where it ends. Lovely. <laughs> there you go. Sandy Impaired Toast Man in the chat here said it was your sleep paralysis demon all along. Who knew? Austin Lee as Austin Lee Magazine. As Cup Ramen Label. As Rabbi Carrot Juice. As Poster on a Window. As Restroom Poster. Additional Highlight Supporters. Ah. Well, that was... Um, that was terrifying. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> that was uh, That was really good. Actually, very well done. Simple, but effective. Love a good ghost story. Chill as, chill as art. Or chill as art. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making it for us to play and enjoy. That was, uh, that was good. Short and sweet. I like that. <laughs> Played game. Was scared. Five stars. <laughs> what? Why is it still going? Chilla's art. That's what it is. Whew. Okay, well that was good. I'm glad to finally have finished that. I don't know if there's multiple endings or what, but uh, hey, we uh, I, I'm pretty sure we did everything that we're supposed to do. I guess the only thing we didn't do was check the shed again in the back after uh, all of the madness. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Uh, we'll do that in a moment. I want to go back over to the shed because we didn't go there last time. Alright, apparently there's nothing to be done there. You can't even, it doesn't even say it's locked. You can't open it. It's just done. I'm coming. So, we're going to check out the alternate ending. I literally just played through the whole damn game again so we could check out the alternate ending. It's um, kind of significantly different. So, all right. So, first thing we do. I looked up what you need to do, and apparently it's it's down to the final decision you make in the game. So you get the last tape, right? Let's just close the door here. So you have three options. Now, of course, what we did last time was we watched the tape. We watched the tape. We saw somebody looking in at us from outside our window. We went to bed, and then sleep paralysis shadow demon killed us. So there's actually three endings to this. So the other option is you can just throw it away. No. If you throw it away, you don't get the video, obviously, because you threw it away. But otherwise, it's the same ending. Sleep paralysis, shadow demon kills you. So the third option is here. The box. Send it off to someone else. So this is the box it came in, presumably. Conveniently with the return address on it. So, yes, we're going to send it off to someone else. Fuck you. I'm not watching your tape. I am sure. Final answer. <laughs> and here we go. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th. The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it, w it said she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues, and on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked what about the place where it was found, Mr. Hoso said there was old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. 
At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Dun dun dun! So, yeah, pretty significant alternate ending there. <laughs> it only, you know, explains the entire story. Um, yeah, so that's why, that's why the, um, you know, there was the little boy and the woman. Um, they were the ones who had been murdered. And then the manager, I guess, was the husband or something I don't, i'm still confused but at least we know a little bit more about what was going on zaranami hey that's almost my name but not quite so there you go so that is the the proper ending to uh the convenience store so we now have at least a slightly better idea of what was going on and most importantly didn't get killed by shadow demon during sleep paralysis Wow, that took no time at all when you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> and all the TVs were, were in the same place, which really saved some time. Holy shit. So, yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. So now I can actually do the proper ending to the game.